can. What is this? Who am I? What is that? Hi guys, it's 2019. Where the hell did January go? January? Who is she? So yeah, it's been forever. I already forgot the password for my channel. I've lost a bunch of subscribers. I still have crippling depression. But what's the most awful thing is that my houseplants died. Those are some crispy leaves. Honestly, I don't know what I expected after leaving them without water for three weeks while I was gone. I'm a horrible person. Rest in peace. I can't even remember the names I gave you, I'm sorry. So I'm not dead, no matter how much I would like to be. But if I'm not dead, where the hell have I been? First I was away from Finland for three weeks, which was great. Here's a little photo montage of my trip. Then I got really ill for two weeks, I had fever, I was half conscious most of the time, which wasn't that bad. I also lost my voice and I sounded like this. And this. And also kind of those two combined. And because I have depression, I'm very tired all the time. I find it hard to do anything like eat, take a shower, leave the house or film videos. So things have not been great, but I try my hardest and now I'm back. So let's see how this goes. What am I gonna do today? You probably noticed this big boy here. Yeah. It's a tall cardboard Pokemon commercial thing. And the story behind it is that I went to buy Let's Go Eevee and I saw this in the store and I jokingly asked if I could have it with me. Didn't expect them to say yes. They let me take it home. Probably thought I was fucking insane. I don't know what I'll do with it. It doesn't fit anywhere and I'm like... This is fine. But it made me think how much random crap I actually own. I like buying stuff if it's cool, if it's cute, if it's completely stupid. I need it in my life. I also can't throw anything away. I know it's kind of a problem, but it's me, it's who I am. So I thought today I could show you some of the most recent things I've bought. You know, things I can't live without. Somebody please help me. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the most awesome thing I've ever bought in my life. Totally worth the $15 I paid for it. It came from a secret Santa box, so I had no idea what I was getting. I like to live dangerously. I just saw a picture of the box, which looked like this. It says crap. It looks like crap. I need it. I felt immediate connection. Honestly though, still 100 times better than my own wrapping skills. And obviously I saved the wrapping paper because, like I said, I can't throw anything away. I'm fucked in the head. I also really liked the website's description of the box. No idea what to get them. No time. Hate Secret Santa. Even you don't know what's inside, so it's guilt-free. Really tempting, right? So one day the box arrived and I was dying to see what was inside because the website has the coolest stuff available. Was it a hatching virtual pet candle? Would kill for that. Or maybe the ant mug to complete my collection. Okay, that would be a little weird from them to send that mug. Yeah, we really appreciate you customers. Or maybe it would be one of these cute drinking animal planters. <laughs> it's the Illumibal Motion activated toilet night light. I want to strangle myself. A scene on Shark Tank. Oh my god. Never fall design. Do you mean like I won't fall or this? Just saying, because that's a huge problem for me. I just can't stop myself from falling into open toilets. You know, I'm a tiny hobbit. No more missing and making a mess or falling into open toilets. <sighs> Thank god. So yeah, I got this. Breaking news, guys. My toilet is gay. Finally. So I did change the batteries, but I haven't tried this yet. I don't know how it looks like or how it works. What am I waiting for? Let's go pimp my toilet. Wow, how nice. A toilet from hell. A literal demon is gonna crawl out there. How relaxing. This is the stupidest thing. <laughs> this gives a completely new meaning to holy shit. Ooh. Let's just enjoy this for a minute with some fitting music. That was 
an experience. I am a huge Stranger Things fan, so when I saw this, my brain did that weird click thing. That sounds completely normal. Which means you need it, you need to buy it right now. If you don't, you will cry, you will regret it for the rest of your life, and that's not fun. So I bought it, and it's this amazing 11 candle holder. Such a pretty simple design, but the thing is, the stranger thing, is that she has holes in her nose and she came with these red candles so when you light them the wax melts and it makes her nose bleed. Oh my god! I thought that was such a cool and clever idea but what's the most funniest thing is that the box says free nose picker tool included. Like isn't this all you could ever ask for? I think everything in life should come with a free nose picker tool no matter what it is. So you're supposed to shove it up her nose because sometimes she can get a blockage and she gets those quite often so I find myself probing her nose quite frequently. Okay so I want to show you guys how this works so let's go make her bleed. Bleep. Oh my god, so amazing! Okay, this might take a second. And the bleeding has begun. Okay, and it stopped. That's a heavy nosebleed. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Ah, uh, please, shut up. So this is how she looks like. I think... The idea is very cool, but if you expect to see her nose bleed constantly, that's not gonna happen because it gets blocked so easily. <laughs> I'm just holding this, you have to be ready. Scrape that blood, scrape it. And honestly, that is me when I see a fresh meme. I am a huge coffee lover, which is just a nicer way to say I'm a coffee addict. Basically everything coffee related makes me very excited! So I needed to buy these coffee paints. The package itself is very pretty, but these are just <gasps> so aesthetically pleasing. Pastel colored coffee, guys. <laughs> Turn your boring brew into colorful chromatic chaos. Yes, yes. I'm so eager to try these, so let's go and make some pastel coffee. Is it that like the most beautiful sound in the world? Can you appreciate these fabulous girls? And they all have names, Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald and Amethyst. How can I choose which one I'll try? This is the hardest decision of my life. Okay, I think I'll go for Emerald. Yes. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. Go back! No! You can't see anything. <laughs> I bought this just for this purpose, because I'm extra and I try to be fancy. And the magic happens. Mm. Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. I was supposed to add the color first. What am I doing? Thank you. Next. <clears throat> Let's pretend that never happened. God. Okay, so let's actually try to do this right this time. Carefully and plop, there she goes. Oh, that's intense. Okay, why does this make me so happy? It's basically food coloring, but it's just... Look at it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not very pastely anymore. It's time to taste my weird ectoplasm coffee. Dun, 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 and it's freaking hot! <gasps> Burn my fingers. So here's my pastel coffee. So let's taste it. Tastes like coffee. I'm just enjoying my coffee time with Tom here. I'm so relaxed. Everything is good in the world and I'm burning my fingers. You know those heatable pillows that feel so amazing if you're having a cramp or back pain? Literal heaven! So I wanted to buy one of those, but obviously I didn't want to buy any white boring pillow. I wanted a customized hot head with my dog's face on it. What happened? This is what I ordered and this is what I got. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely unique. I still like it, but... <laughs> What happened? It also has a really strong lavender smell. 
Like, Jesus. The website calls the smell relaxing. Damn right if it makes you unconscious. So yeah, I... I, I let's just try these. It's you. Please don't faint. Yeah. It's you. Oh, okay, don't lick it. <laughs> what am I doing? No! <laughs> the smell. Hello. <laughs> the whole apartment has a very strong lavender smell. Ah, uh, it's so relaxing. So warm. <laughs> but the smell. <laughs> Jesus. So this is the last thing and this is something I've always wanted to own. This and a slush machine. Someday. Someday. It's the kit to make your own neon sign. I know it's tiny. It's not like I have money to buy one of those gigantic ones. What do you think I am? Rich? Small is beautiful. Remember that. Now I just have to figure out how this works. This might take a while. Oh, I can't wait to write something very inspirational with this. Well, that looks like... Crap! I literally spent an hour making this and it was supposed to say send memes but I got frustrated, I got angry, it was so hard and now it looks like it says send men, <laughs> whatever. Maybe I should just try something easier. Hmm. Just think of all the shapes I could turn this into. And if any of you thought of penis, you're absolutely right. Because that's definitely what I'll try next. Because I'm 12. You can also do this. Ooh. So cool. Or... Send help. Don't send men, send help. And that was some of the things I bought. Somebody stop me, please. I think my favorite one is not the 11 candle, but the nose picker tool. <laughs> Makes me want to stick it up my own nose, but not now, not now. Just wait, you'll find yourself in dark places. What the? I also really love some aesthetic pastel coffee that makes me feel all soft and mushy inside. I still want to apologize for not uploading, but I know you guys understand. I've had rough time. I'm glad I feel slightly better now, minus the mental issues and the bellyache. Would love to know what's that about. I've seen several doctors, but they can't seem to find out what's wrong with me. So I don't know. Also, should I get new houseplants or is that simply abuse? Yeah, well, maybe plastic ones. Thank you guys for watching this. And if you're still subscribed to me, I don't deserve you. You're the best. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And you can take a look at my last video over there, which was uploaded like 84 years ago. There's some incredibly questionable designs if you want to check that out. The real good shed. Stay adorable as always. I hope 2019 is treating you guys better than it's treating me. Jesus. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.